Well, the show hasn't even begun and already the critics are having an impact. It's the baby beauty pageant heading this way, but forced to go to ground today following a campaign to have the event, the event banned altogether. And she has blonde hair and blue eyes. The primping and preening that goes on beforehand, the amount of hair and makeup and all of that, the pressure on them to actually look a particular way. She enjoys dancing and modelling and pageants. It's American as apple pie, but it seems Australia doesn't want an event in which kids can win big if they've got the look. I just find it really sad, really, really sad. I mean, I have a daughter, I have three sons and a daughter, older. I just couldn't think of anything worse. It's all about this exterior beauty and it's really, really high pressure for them uh, to conform to that. And they get enough of that in society without parents actively enrolling their children into a competition that's just about beauty. Child advocate Catherine Manning couldn't believe her ears when she heard Australia was about to host one of these. And she has beautiful brown hair and big brown eyes. Now Aussie organisers have restricted ticket sales to just family and friends and stopped publicising the event based on fears that protesters plan to invade it. Have you actually bought a ticket to this event? Absolutely not. You know no. anyone who I, has? No, I don't. And I don't encourage people to um, engage in that type of activism. We're, we're not about, you know, terrorising young children and, and, you know, freaking these little girls out. It'd be great to have it in public view, but people don't want to see it. That's the problem. And that's why they're reacting that way. And that's why we're calling on the government to act. That starts with a public rally on the steps of every state parliament next month calling for a complete ban. Miss Edith from Taylor, Arkansas. Pageant organisers say it's a massive overreaction. They're getting dressed up in, in glitzy gowns, that's about it. Kristen yeah, Kyle has two children who'll compete. She says protesters' claims are way off the mark. Girls being sexualised in the pageant has nothing to do with pageants. I don't believe that these girls are being sexualised and I think it's the people who think this who have the problem. And she has blonde hair and big blue eyes. But mother of four Catherine says it's a big jump from a home environment to the stage. You're dead set against these pageants, aren't you? But mm. you've got here dress-ups. What's the difference here? Well, there's a huge difference. I mean, this is a natural part of, of childhood where kids love to dress up. The adults have actually stepped in and taken that and turned it into a beauty competition and then employed professional photographers and makeup artists and hairstylists and cosmetic um, specialists. Um, kids don't need that. They just need to play, explore and express themselves how they want to express themselves. Which doesn't include over-the-top makeup or even false teeth. I think it's sad because they're not, they're not being little girls, they're growing up too quick. They are saying that little girls should learn to play an instrument or a sport. What if a little girl doesn't want to learn a sport or an instrument? What if all she wants to do is dress up like a princess? Aren't you simply pushing this underground by protesting and having the organisers move it to a secret location? There's always a possibility for that when people realise that it's unfavourable. Uh, but uh, I have faith that most parents will listen to what the experts are saying, listen to what the community is saying, understand that there's a huge amount of research out there to say that this is actually harmful to children and just let their kids be kids. And I'm sure it's not the last we'll be hearing about that.